Welcome to another recording of a 60 minute Hatha yoga class. This class is a live recording of a Zoom yoga class uh, I teach every Sunday afternoon. Check out the links in the description. So this class is all about aiming true. We're going to set an intention that focuses on something that we're trying to achieve in our life and we're going to dedicate our practice and our energy to that. We're also going to be working on opening our hips and our hamstrings and looking at maybe progressing towards approaching, creeping up upon compass pose. It's quite a challenging posture, but there are a few things that we can work on to try and move into it and progress from it. So I really hope you enjoy this practice. Cheers. Namaste. We're going to start our breathing practice lying down. So we're going to take soles of the feet to the mat, knees are bent, and we're going to lie the whole length and width of the back down on the ground. Right hand is going to rest on our belly, and left hand is going to rest in our heart centre on our breastplate. Tuck the chin in, close the eyes, and just take a moment to let the back settle down into the mat. And start to witness your natural breathing. So feel your belly and your chest expanding and rising when you inhale. And falling as you exhale. Just be an objective witness to your spontaneous breath now. So see how it is today, if it's smooth and steady. Maybe it's a little bit quick and shallow. Start to draw the senses inwards as you notice how the breath physically feels as it's flowing in and out. And if it's okay for you to let the lips close, you can start to breathe solely through your nostrils. Take a big inhale through the nose, feeling up with air, and hold for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale through the nose, releasing that air. Hold at the bottom for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale deeply, feel the belly rising, feeling up at the top, hold for six, five, four, three, two, one, and exhale, release the air, stomach collapses, hold at the bottom for six, five, four, three, two, one, inhale, feeling up the belly, lower lungs, mid chest, hold at the top for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, breathe out through the nose, releasing, belly contracts, hold at the bottom, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, inhale deeply, last time, feeling up, lower chest, mid chest, upper chest, all the way up to the throat, hold for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and exhale, emptying out, 
Letting all the air release now. Let go. Hold at the bottom for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And return to normal breathing. Release the hands down by the sides of the body. Keep the lips closed. Notice if your breath has smoothed out and lengthened thanks to this pranayama breathing practice. Take a moment while we're lying down here to settle on that intention, to decide on that objective in your life, no matter how big or small, and dedicate this practice to it. can be as inconsequential or momentous as you like. Roll over onto one side and bring yourself to a hands and knees position. Take the toes to touch, knees out as wide as the mat, stick the bum back on the heels, and walk the hands away from the body. Inhale, take a big stretch through the spine. And exhale, release the forehead and the forearms down onto the mat. Nice child's pose here. Feel yourself breathing right into the back of the body now. Through the full width and length of the back. Staying in this child's pose, take palms to prayer position resting on the back of the head. If that's too much, you can interlace the fingers and cradle the back of the head, take the arms out wider. Stretching through the shoulders and the triceps. If you want to deepen this, you can walk the elbows slightly further forward. Feel the shoulder blades drawing down the back. Release the hands back down to the mat. Walk them towards the body, placing them directly under your shoulders. Bring the bum up high. We're going to take some circles here. So inhale in this neutral position. Exhale, take the bum back and to the left. Move over to the right. And inhale back to center, shoulders over the wrists. Exhale, bum back. Moving left to right. Inhale, right, center, left, back, exhale. Inhale, coming forward and right, through centre, exhaling back and left, over to the right, inhaling, coming forward, come to stillness, we're going to go the other way, so inhale in stillness, exhale, bum comes back and to the right, round and through to the left, inhale, forward, through to centre. Exhale, back and to the right, through to the left. Inhale to center. Exhale to the back. Right, left, forward, center. Exhale, right and back. Left, forward, center. Come to stillness, shoulders over the wrist. Take the knees directly under the hips, tuck the toes under, inhale, hover the knees off of the ground, just two centimetres off of the ground, exhale, step the legs out behind you, bend the knees deeply, belly comes to the thighs, lift those hips up into the sky for your first downward dog. 
really push the ground away, clawing the fingers into the mat so that the knuckles are kind of bending slightly. You can start to walk out your dog, so bending one knee and extending the other, switching from side to side. Take some time here to really push into the straightened leg so that you can feel the calf stretching. And then inhale, come to stillness, bend those knees deeply. Exhale, send the bum up higher, heels descending down towards the ground. Chest is coming low towards the ground. You're gazing at your knees. Breathe here. Inhale, look at the hands. Walk or jump the feet to meet them. Take the half lift, flat back, coming up halfway. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, push through the feet. Uncurl, coming all the way up, palms touch overhead. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, reach right arm up into the sky and take right hand, place it on the back. Grab a hold of right elbow with left hand. Take a tricep stretch here. Inhale, grow tall. Exhale, send those hips over to the right as you lean the body over to the left. Draw the belly in towards the spine. Firm up those thighs. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, swap the arms over. So grab a hold of the other tricep. Other hand is patting your back. Inhale, lengthen. Take that tricep stretch first. Exhale, send those hips over to the left, lean the body over to the right. Keep that chest shining forward, belly button drawing in. Inhale, come all the way back up. Exhale, hands to the lower back, fingers sliding into those jeans pockets. Inhale, look up, shoulders and elbows draw towards each other. Exhale, soften the knees. Send those hips forward, lift that chin up, keep the face pointing up as well. Back bending here, just as far as your back will allow you. Draw the belly button into the spine to support your back. Inhale, come up to standing. Exhale, fold forward, hinge at the hips, soft bend in the knees. Grab a hold of opposite elbows, sway from side to side. Hanging here like a rag doll. Inhale, hands to the hips, slowly uncurling all the way to standing. Head is very last thing to come up. We're going to move into our sun salutations from here. So feet remain hip width apart. Shoulders back and down, away from the ears. Take a moment to centre yourself. Then inhale, reach the hands up, palms touch overhead. Exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, take that half lift. Exhale, fold forward, step the right leg back, drop the back knee. Inhale, reach the hands up overhead. Exhale, hands to the back of the head, interlace the fingers. Inhale, draw those elbows out wide, look up. Exhale, reach the hands down to the mat, step back into your high plank, lower all the way down. Point the toes, inhale, lift the chin, lift the chest, peeling off the ground for cobra. Exhale, lower your head down to the mat. Inhale, push up into your plank. Exhale, back into your downward dog for a moment. Inhale, right foot steps forward, drop the back knee, reach the hands up, overhead, palms touch. Exhale, hands to the back of the head. Inhale, open the chest, open the shoulders, look up. 
Exhale, release hands to the mat. Step back, lower all the way down. Inhale, point the toes, lift that chin and chest for cobra. Exhale, release the head to the mat. Inhale, push up into your plank. Exhale to downward facing dog. We're going to hold here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Inhale, look at the hands. Walk or jump the feet to meet them. Take your half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach the hands all the way up, palms touch. Exhale, hands to heart centre, straight into the other side. Inhale, reach the arms up overhead, palms touch. Exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale to that half lift, flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Left leg steps back this time, drop the back knee. Inhale, swoop those arms up, palms touch. Exhale, hands to the back of the head. Inhale, elbows come far apart, look up. Exhale, hands to the mat, step back, lower all the way down. Point the toes, inhale, lift the chin, lift the chest for your cobra. Exhale, release the head down to the mat. Inhale, through your plank. Exhale, back to downward dog for a moment. Inhale, left leg steps forward, drop the back knee, reach the arms up, palms touch overhead. Exhale, hands to the back of the head, open up. Inhale, look up. Exhale, release the hand down to the mat, step back, lower down. Point the toes, inhale, lift up to your cobra, maybe even your down dog if you want to take the legs off the floor. Exhale, release everything back down. Inhale, up into your plank. Exhale, back into downward dog. We're going to take a moment here to recover. You can adjust your dog as much as you need to. Then come to stillness for another five. Four, three, two, one. Inhale, walk or step your feet to your hands. Take the half lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, reach the arms all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. We're going to take a variation on sun salutation to open up our hips. So step the feet out as wide as your mat. Inhale, reach the arms up, look up, palms touch. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step left foot back this time. You can drop the back knee. Right foot is on the outside of right hand. If this is too hard, you can use a block to bring the ground closer to you. Hold here. Now, inhale. Pick up that knee that's on the ground. Extend through the heel. Exhale. Inhale. Grow tall in this pose. Lengthen through the spine. Exhale. Step back to your plank and lower all the way down. Point the toes. Inhale. Lift the chin. Lift the chest. Cobra. Exhale. Release the head down to the mat. Tuck the toes. Inhale. Through your plank. Exhale, back into downward dog. Right foot steps forward. This time we're going to take it to the outside of right hand. Drop the back knee. Inhale, reach the hands up overhead, palms touch. Exhale, release hands down. Step back into your plank, lower all the way down. Point the toes, inhale, lift the chest. Maybe even come into your dog this time. Exhale, release down to the mat. Inhale, push up into your plank. Exhale, back into your downward dog. We're going to hold here. Steady yourself, find stillness in your dog. Stay here a little longer. And then inhale, walk or jump, feet to hands, take the half lift. Exhale, fold forward. 
Inhale, reach the hands all the way up, palms touch. Exhale, hands to heart center. We're gonna do the other side. So inhale, reach the hands all the way up, palms touch. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale to the half lift. We're gonna just make sure that our feet are still as wide as the mat. And then we're gonna step back left foot, uh, right foot this time. Drop the back knee. Left foot is on the outside of left hand. Inhale here. Use a block to bring the ground closer to you if this is strong work in your hip. Exhale, sink the groin down. Inhale, pick that back knee up off the floor if you can. Exhale, really push through that back heel. Inhale, lengthen through the crown. Exhale, step back into your plank and lower all the way down. Point the toes, inhale, lift the chin, lift the chest, cobra or option for upward facing dog. Exhale, release all the way down. Inhale, push up through your plank. Exhale, back into your dog for a moment. Inhale, step that foot back to the outside. Drop the back knee. Inhale, reach the hands up, palms touch overhead. Exhale, come back all the way down. Lower all the way down. Inhale, through your cobra or your up dog when nearly there. Lower all the way back to the mat. Inhale, push through your plank to exhale back to your downward dog and we hold here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, inhale, take those feet to the hands, half lift, flat back, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, swoop up, palms touch. Exhale, hands to heart center. Close the eyes. Take hands down by the sides of the body. Take a moment in Tadasana. Reconnect that slow, steady breath. Blink the eyes open. And we're going to turn so that we're facing the long edge of our mat. And you can step or you'll jump feet out to a wide-legged stance. Feet are going to be four and a half to five feet apart. And we can measure by taking our arms out to shoulder height, making sure that our feet are directly below our wrists. From here, take your hands back down to your hips. We're going to move into some little ninja lunges. So inhale, grow tall. Exhale, bend right knee. Sink your body weight over that right leg. Inhale, through to centre. Exhale, other side. Inhale, through to centre. Exhale, other side. Take the arms out to the side now. Inhale, swoop the hands through centre. Exhale, other side. Inhale, swoop through centre. Exhale, other side. Make some shapes if you like. Inhale, swoop. Exhale like a surfer maybe, inhale swoop, or maybe a fierce warrior, exhale other side, inhale swoop, exhale other side, stay here, I think we're all on our left leg, take hands to hips, and we're going to step in one go if we can, or lots of little steps if we're not steady, we're going to step the extended leg so that our big toe is coming right on the top, uh, right to the mat, close to our standing leg. So inhale, step, right leg in. Bring big toe close to left foot. Sink your bum back down in that imaginary chair. See if you can do it without any help from your hands. Float that right foot up and rest it on left thigh. You can use your hands to help if you need to. Find your gaze point here. If your balance is good, inhale hands to heart center. Steady yourself. Sink the bum down a little deeper. Mm -hmm. 
And just as we came into it, we're going to extend the arms out to the side and take one big step back out to our wide-legged pose. Fantastic. Take hands to hips for a moment. Turn right foot out. Keep the legs straight. Keep the chest and the torso pointing at the long edge of your mat. Inhale the arms up to shoulder height. Exhale, lean over right leg. See where right hand comes to. Left arm is reaching up into the sky for Trikonasana. If balance is good, you can look up at the hand. Imagine there is a pane of glass behind you. And the back of the body is in one straight line. With every exhalation, you're creeping that right hand down. With every inhalation, you're reaching that left hand up. Exhale, keep the arm, uh, keep the legs where they are, release left hand down to left hip. Pick right foot up off of the floor and take a hold of left thigh. Imagine that you're bringing right ear down to right thigh. And inhale, come all the way back up. Extend those arms back out to the side. Exhale, bend right knee deeply for warrior two. Keep the chest facing the long edge of your mat. Turn the head and gaze down middle finger of right hand. Inhale, grow tall. Check that you can see big toe, front foot. Exhale, sink the groin down a little deeper. Drive that little toe of the back foot into the mat. Take right forearm, rest it on right thigh. Swoop left arm overhead, bicep by the ear. Extended side angle pose. If you can reach further in this pose, you can try and take right hand down to the ground on the inside of right foot. But make sure that your chest is still lifting. Don't go to sleep on that thigh. Option to bind here if that's in your practice, which means we drop left arm round the back, catch a hold of it underneath our front thigh, fingertips clasping together. Only if that's in your practice for you today. See where you're at, ground those feet down. Exhale, release the bind if you've taken one. Inhale, come all the way up, hands to hips. Pivot on the feet so the toes are pointing straight forward. We're back in that wide-legged stance. We're going to come back to those ninja uh, lunges. Start with hands on hips again. So inhale, grow tall. Exhale, bend right leg. Inhale through centre. Exhale, bend left. Inhale through center, exhale bend right. Take the arms out now. Inhale to swoop, exhale make some shapes. Inhale swooping up, exhale sailing through. Inhale swoop, exhale focus. Inhale swoop, exhale focus. Stay here. I think we should all be on our right leg this time. We're going to take the balance on the other side. You can take your hands to hips again. Like we did before, we're going to step left foot in and come right up onto the big toe of left foot so it's close to right foot. Sink the bum back down. Find your gaze point. If you can, challenge yourself to pick left foot up, rest it on right thigh with no assistance from your hands. If you need assistance, that's fine too. Just find that steady flow of breath again. Inhale, hands to heart centre. 
exhale, sit down in that invisible chair a little deeper. A few breaths here. Strong work in the standing leg. Inhale to get ready. Exhale, arms out to the side. Step back into that wide-legged posture. Take hands to hips for a moment. Turn left toe out this time. Inhale, arms up to shoulder height. Turn the chest, turn the face so that it's pointing at the long edge of your mat. And exhale, left hand comes down onto left leg. Right arm is reaching up into the sky. Remember, bum, backs of the legs. Feet back, back of that hand in the sky. They're all in one straight line. You can gaze up at that lifted hand if your balance is good. Aim true. Every exhale, creeping left hand down. Every inhale, opening up the chest. Inhale, come all the way back up. Arms are still up, spread at shoulder high. Exhale, bend left knee deeply. Check that you can still see big toe. Check that the chest is still pointing at the long edge of the mat. Turn the head, gaze down middle finger of left hand. On every exhalation, sink that groin down towards the ground. Vira Vrudrasana 2. Really draw energy through the feet, like they're trying to squeeze towards each other. Exhale, release uh, left arm down to left thigh, right arm spins overhead, bicep by the ear, extended side angle pose, one straight line from little pinky toe of back foot, all the way through to point a finger of that lifted arm. If it's in your practice, you can reach left hand down to the ground. Don't collapse the chest onto the thigh, keep everything lifted and active. Use your core muscles to keep you lifted up. If it's in your practice to so bind today, you can release right arm down round the back, catch a hold of it with left, clasping at the fingers. If you're here, imagine that you're almost trying to turn the chest so it's pointing up at the ceiling. From here, release the clasp. This time we're going to frame that foot and we're going to turn our chest and we're going to release right knee all the way to the ground. We're going to release right foot to the ground as well. So coming into this low lunge position, if we don't reach down to the ground easily, we can keep hands on hips. Otherwise, piano the fingertips into the mat. Feel that hip flexor of your right leg opening up. Inhale here. Exhale, straighten front leg, sit the bum back, walk the hands back. Half monkey pose. Inhale back into that lunge. Exhale back into that monkey pose. The foot will come off the ground, you'll be resting on the heel. And then inhale, foot back down to the ground, pelvis sinks down. Exhale, back into the half monkey pose. Inhale to your lunge. Exhale, back. Inhale to your lunge. We're going to step back foot in now, so that it's close down on the ground. You're going to come up onto the ball of the foot if you can. 
So you're on the ball of right foot, right knee is bent deeply. You're going to pick left foot up and just like we did in our balance before, you're going to come right onto the big toe of left foot. Hands are either side of the body, pianoing into the ground. Like we did before, we're going to try and pick that foot up and rest it on our thigh. Find that gaze point again. This is a challenging pose, so you might just be hovering, holding onto the foot. Maybe it comes to the thigh. Stay here. This is toe stand, challenging balancing pose. And release, return back to that runner's lunge, left foot forward, right knee back on the mat, release top of the foot to the mat. Place hands down on the ground, tuck the back foot, Step back into your plank position, lower all the way down, point the toes, inhale, lift the chin, lift the chest, exhale to lower, inhale to push up, exhale back into your downward dog, walk the hands towards the feet this time, inhale, come all the way up to standing. We're going to take the other side now, so let's take a big step forward with that right foot this time. So I'm going to go this way so that you can see. Drop the back knee, release the top of the foot to the mat. We're going to start with those lunges and half monkey poses, so take hands to frame the feet if you can. Inhale, take that lunge. Exhale, straighten the legs, sink the bum back. Inhale to that lunge, we're chewing the gum. We're warming up the fascias of the body. Exhale to extend, sit in the bum back. Inhale to that lunge. Exhale, sit the bum back and extend. Inhale to that lunge. Exhale, sit the bum back. Inhale to that lunge. Hold this time. Come up onto the ball of the, well, step, step back foot in. Take that toe close to the, uh, right foot, come on to the ball of right foot, left foot is balancing right on uh, the big toe, hands are either side of the body, and like we did before, we're going to try and pick that right foot up and place it on left thigh. See where you get to here. Challenging toe stand balance and find your gaze point. Take a moment in it. Steady the breath. And then release that foot that's on the thigh. Turn the hand so they're framing the other foot. Step that foot back into that lunge. Step back into your plank, lower all the way down, inhale to the up dog or cobra, exhale to release, inhale back into your high plank and exhale into your downward facing dog. This time we're going to drop the knees, take the bum back and bring ourselves down onto the mat so that we're sitting on our bums. We're going to extend our legs out in front of us. We're going to keep right leg extended and we're going to bend left leg, taking left foot into the thigh of right leg. Take a moment to ground the sitting bones into the mat. You can move the flesh of the bum out of the way. This is a good opportunity to grab a hold of your strap. And if you have any issues with your knee, you can slide a cushion or a block under that bent leg. Take the strap around the extended foot. Grab a hold of it with both hands. Inhale to grow really tall. Feel that the crown of the head is being drawn up to the ceiling. And exhale, fold forward. Belly comes to the thigh. Chin is aiming towards the knee. Stay wherever you need to stay, 
to keep a straight spine. Inhale, come all the way up. Just place that strap to one side. Scoop your hand underneath the knee of right leg and just pull that foot towards you. And I want you to kind of pick it up as if it was a baby that you're rocking from side to side. And just rock it side to side. You can cradle it with right arm. And then if that feels okay, the next step is to take left hand and place it under the ankle. And you can draw that right knee in towards right shoulder. So you're almost like you're holding a rocket launcher. Now aim true, think about that intention that you set, that objective in your life. And really lift that foot as if you're aiming at it, you've got it in your sights. If this feels okay, the next step is to take right hand and bring it, bring right arm inside of that leg so that you've almost put the leg on to your back like a strap of a backpack. Once again, aim true. Imagine that you've got that sight. And then release everything. Extend that leg back down to the mat. Resettle those sit bones. Put that strap back around that foot. You're going to take a hold of that strap with left hand. You're going to take the right hand and just place it on the ground, pianoing the fingers close to right calf. Inhale and turn the body so that the chest and the face is looking at your bent knee. Exhale, fold over the leg as if you're bringing right ear close to right knee. Stay here for a moment. Feel the stretch in the side of the body. Now we're gonna move into compass pose. So very carefully, really push that right hand down into the mat and pull on the strap so that right leg comes into the sky. You can bend the knee if you need to. Take a moment here and then release everything back down onto the mat. I'm going to do that one more time so that you can have another try, see what it's like. So once again, we've got left hand holding onto the strap, right hand is grounding down into the mat. Give it a try this time, maybe with a little bend in right leg. See if that helps. Feel like right shoulder is really coming in front of right thigh. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, pull on that strap, float that foot up into the sky. Point the toe. Turn the chest, opening up. Maybe walk your hand further down the strap. And release everything back down. Take that bent leg, pick it up, step the foot on the outside of the extended leg. So you've got left foot on the outside of right knee. Inhale, reach right arm up into the air. Exhale, right elbow to the outside of left knee. Take a little twist here. Countering that pose. Gazing over left shoulder. Empty the belly of air. And then inhale, come back to centre. I'm going to do that sequence on the other side. So this time, left leg extends, right leg bends, sole of right foot on the inside of left thigh. 
take that strap around left foot, hold it with both hands. Wiggle those sits bones into the mat, move the flesh if you need to. Inhale, grow tall. Exhale, fold forward, belly to thigh. Feel like there's a string pulling through the crown of your head. Everything in one straight line. Keep gazing at that foot or close the eyes. Inhale, come all the way back up. Take that strap to one side. We're going to put some movement into that hip now. So scoop under the knee, pull that leg in, cradle the leg and the foot like a baby, and rock it from side to side. Gently, gently. Just feel if you can maybe pull it up a little higher as you're rocking. Notice any niggly sensations. Don't push into any pain, just feel what's going on. Next step is to pull that knee in close to the shoulder. Hold it like you've got a rocket launcher. Get that aim in your sight. Feel like you're moving that sight of the rocket launcher up as you lift that foot into the sky. Maybe you can take left shoulder in front of left knee. Grab a hold of the heel, the ankle, and bring the left thigh onto the shoulder like you're putting the strap of the backpack on. See where you're at. Just feel it here. This is really strong work preparing for a compass pose. This gives us the same benefit as that pose without the bells and whistles. So this is a good place to be. But we're curious and playful so we're going to put that leg back down. Extend it out in front of us. Take that strap back around it. Holding the strap with right hand this time. Left hand is pianoing into the ground, close to left thigh, uh, left calf. Turn the body so it's pointing towards that knee. And then exhale, take left ear down towards that left leg. Little side bend, lining the body. Preparing centering and then we're going to inhale pull on that strap push the hand into the ground take that leg up into the sky point the toe if you can you can bend the knee deeply if you need to and stay here release everything back down take a moment See what you discovered and then we're going to try it one more time so I invite you to try it with, by bending that left leg this time really push that hand down into the ground really pull on that strap with right hand inhale focus exhale pull that strap pull that foot up into the sky point the toe compass pose. If you're deep in the pose you can walk the hand down the strap. Release everything back down. Release the strap. Pick up right foot, put it on the outside of left knee. Reach left arm up into the sky, inhale. Exhale left elbow to right knee. Take the twist, gazing over right shoulder. Piano fingers into the ground on the right hand, bring it close to the bum, get that length, empty all the air out of the belly. These counter poses are just as important, locking in all the work that we've done. And inhale, come all the way back. We're going to lie back down on our mats now with our feet close to our uh, bum 
knees bent, soles of the feet on the mat. You should be able to just about stroke the backs of your heels with your fingers. Just take a few windscreen wiper moments here. So we're just dropping our knees from left to right, left to right. Really nice, easy movements. We're just wiping away any of the tension. The practice we've done is gone. Let it go and come to stillness. Tuck the chin in, nice double chin, lengthen the back of the neck. Inhale, float the pelvis off the ground, peeling the lower back off the ground as well. Exhale, push through the feet, push the ground away, hips come up to the sky. You can walk the shoulders in towards each other, interlace the fingers if that feels good for you today and your shoulders are okay. Push the wrists into the ground if you're there. Breathe. Notice how this posture affects your slow, steady breath. Now if you've got a cushion or a block, bring yourself all the way back down onto the mat. Grab a hold of that cushion or that block. Return the feet to this position where they're close to the bum. Tuck the chin back in. Lift the bum and the hips slightly off the mat and slide your block or your cushion under your lower back. So if you've got a cushion, you might only have a couple of inches of length off the ground, height off the ground. If you've got your block, you've got a few different options here. So make sure that that block is placed just at the very bottom of your tailbone, just above your bum. So it's where like your bum meets your lower back. Play around with the heights. I would go for the medium height where you've got the narrowest edge running along your sacrum. So the spine of the book. Everybody take a moment to be still here. Find that stillness and then inhale, float right foot up into the sky. You might need to engage your core muscles if you're wobbling. You'll have to ground left foot down into the mat to stabilize you. Take it real easy here. You can have a bend in the knee, nice light, airy quality. Feel the circulation draining out of that foot. On an exhale, float it back down. Inhale, take the other foot up now. So the left foot floats into the sky. It's almost like our dead bug pose, but we've still got a little bit of active work in our core to stabilize ourselves. Soft bend in the knee. The knee, sit back down. Lift the hips, take the block or the cushion out to one side, take the bum all the way back down to the mat, slowly uncurling that back. And then take the soles of the feet to touch and allow the knees to flop out to one side. If this feels too much on your hips, walk the feet further away from the groin and maybe take the soles of the feet so they're a couple of inches apart. See what feels good for your hips and your pelvis. Inhale, reach the arms up. Hands are directly over the shoulders. Exhale, float the hands overhead. Backs of the hands come to the mat. If that's too strong in your shoulders, you can cactus the arms or even spread them out to the side. And finally, 
You can step those legs out so they're fully extended on the mat. Feet flop out to the side. Bring the arms down by the side of the body. Backs of the hands rest on the ground. Allow some space between the arms and the sides of the body. Allow the fingers to curl in towards the palms. Release the full weight of the head onto the ground. Close the eyes. And rest here in Savasana. Very gently now, bring your awareness back into your body. Wiggle fingers and toes. And there's no hurry. When you feel ready, you inhale, take a nice big full body stretch, toes and heels will touch, arms will reach overhead, waking the body back up, roll over onto your right hand side, into the recovery position, make a pillow with the hands or the arms, and with the eyes still closed, in your own time, Make your way into a sitting position. Take the hands to prayer position, the heart center, tuck the chin. One more time now. Dedicate all the energy and effort that you've created here towards that objective. Aim true. Namaste, everybody. Thank you.